Hey, Khalid, thank you so much for emailing me and asking about organics. I can certainly help you with that. My name is Sean and I'm an account manager with my Amazon guy. Um, so listen, I'm going to do a review of this ASIN listing here and I'm going to show you some of the competition, talk about organics and some other things. So I'm going to pack this full of valuable information. Um, so uh, first thing I want to ask is why aren't you brand registered? Um, that is a major part. So whenever you're brand registered, you get access to your brand store, to your brand story. Um, in in addition, your brand store indexes through Google for SEO traffic. So it's a huge part of um, having a successful brand on Amazon. I absolutely recommend having trademark and brand registry. We've done thousands of them and we guarantee that we'll have a number for you very quickly. We typically get the number the next day, um, but it's a seven day process and it's $825. We highly recommend it. Now, moving on from that, I am going to discuss your keywords. So we utilize this tool to look at your sponsored and organic keywords, and I'm noticing that they're very low. So you've got 326 organic, 58 sponsored. Now, we recommend a one to two ratio here. So for every one sponsored, you have two organic. But I want to show you how you're performing within these keywords um, that you're indexing for. So <clears throat> you'll notice as I scroll down that I sorted these by the most frequently searched keywords within your category. And over here is your sponsored rank in this column, your organic rank in this column. And do you see how you're not indexing for, and I'm going to get out of the way here, for a lot of these words, and they're very relevant, car decal, car sticker, truck decals, truck stickers, marine vinyl even. So there's a lot of opportunity for more exposure that you're missing out on here. Additionally, look at your organic rank. Um, that means at 259, people have to get through all the sponsored ads and 258 other organic ads before they can find you for the letters USMC. Um, here, military stickers. So, it, and a lot of these where you're indexing, there isn't a lot of search traffic. Like look at this one, for example. You're sponsoring this word, but only 900 people look for Marine Corps stickers in the past 30 days. I, I don't know if this is a valuable enough keyword for you, so I would definitely do a gap analysis and looking at your sponsor keywords too as well. Um, but your organics, they have to grow. So, I mean, right away, I'm seeing tons of exposure that you're not receiving. So that just means, le um, you know, revenue left on the table. Now, I do want to show you a competitor of yours. So I took these words from your title, Marine Decal, and found this listing here. Now, not doing any product comparisons, what I want to show you is their advertising um, strategy. So they've got 1,300 organic keywords, but look at the number of sponsored keywords. I think they're sponsored are too high. As a matter of fact, I would probably flip these, have the 1,321 sponsored and the 2,800 organic. That would make more sense and their spend budget would be less. Um, but it, regardless, this is why they're selling more. They're indexing for over 5,000 different search variations and you're only at 600. Also, they've sold over 1,100 units. They've sold 10 times the number of units that you have in the past 30 days. So it shows that their advertising is paying off. Now, here at my Amazon guy, we break up our SEO process. It used to be in the three phases, but now with the new A9 algorithm change, we've broken it up into four phases. Now, in phase three, we look at those strike zone keywords where you're ranked in spots 20 through 50. Right now, you have 41 of them. And because of that, you're really not benefiting from that organic traffic. So our focus would be through our work to lift you up in the ranks so that instead of being in spot 39 or 48 for these words, we'd have you in the top 10 for all of these. So yes, we need to grow your organics. Now, coming over to your listing and, and one last thing, and I'm, sh I'm sure you know this, but it's the words that gets your listing above everybody else's in the search results, right? Your organics, your, your back in search terms, all of that helps in getting you higher in the search results. And then it's the price, reviews, and the look and appearance with your product that create conversion once you're chosen from the search results. So the words are extremely important to get you in front of consumers. Now I'm gonna go through your images here real quick. Who is your demographic? Obviously, it's, uh, you know, it could, th this is a very giftable item, but you definitely need to have a lifestyle image. I think having a military person, I'm ex Air Force, I was a veteran, my dad was in the Navy for 26 years. So I love, love things like this. 
show uh, some some demographic. You need to have your customer avatar in these images because it creates a connection with consumers when they're on your listing. You also need video too as well. Um, your title, you want to make sure it's as close to 200 characters as possible because this is the first spot that Amazon looks for your organic keywords. You've only got 150 characters there. Take it up to 200 um, and include those words that we saw utilizing that tool, those frequently used words. Also in your bullet points, this is another spot where we improve your organics and increase your organics. You need to change these on a regular basis. Um, and, and we do that. So you integrate the frequently used words that we saw over here into your copy regularly, right? So that car decal sticker, bumper stickers, those kind of words into um, your listing here more often so that you're more relevant or it, you know, you index more for those words. Let me just show you an example, bumper stickers. So let's do this. That's a highly relevant searched word and you don't have bumper stickers anywhere on your uh, listing. So that in and of itself is an example of what we can do to help uh, increase and improve your organics. Um, also too, now back to brand registry. If you were brand registered, you would have access to a module that goes right here, which is new that Amazon just launched. It launched. It's called your brand story. I'm just gonna show you an example of one right here where we put this together for a brand called Momster. So from the brand, and what's nice about it is it shows up underneath all the competitive ads that are on your listing. And you've got all these links. It talks about how you got your start, why you do what you do, what makes you so unique and special. And I think with that military connection that you have, I would absolutely do it. Plus having A plus content on your listing can be the deciding factor whether someone chooses you or your competition. Uh, there is a lot more that I can tell you and we can certainly help improve and increase your organics amongst other things. So go ahead and click the link in my email that reads book a call, snag yourself a free consultation. And once you do that, I'll email out the competitive analysis. But thanks so much, Khalid, for watching. Look forward to speaking with you soon. Take care.